Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, I had a monthly experiment poll for my patrons to vote on to decide the kind of longer form experiment that I would be running. And unlike some recent polls, this one, like, there was a very clear winner. So I'll be trying to figure out if I am most productive writing at home, which is what I do 99% of the time. Um, it's something that I'd like to do maybe a little bit less of, so like this is a good challenge. Uh, writing at home, writing at the library, or writing at a coffee shop. Now one of my favorite things to do is like a coffee shop hop, um, more so when I'm traveling. I haven't done a whole lot of experimenting in my own town, which is terrible after, again, my old favorite coffee shop closed pre-pandemic even. I think there's something to be said for actually like getting up and going out and writing somewhere. In theory, we're gonna figure out if this is true in practice. In theory, it should make you focus more, right? You don't have any of the distractions of home. I don't have my two dogs, you know, barking for me. Zelda wanting to get in my lap. I don't have Vin, you know, being her beautiful, gorgeous little black cat self deciding to sit right in front of my computer. I don't have my partner coming into the room wanting to chat about something. I am like in the zone, in theory. So for the basic parameters, I'm going to try and go to the place uh, or to my desk at the same time every day at 10 a.m. That is when the library usually opens and I figured that would be kind of the best time to gauge. And I will keep track of how caffeinated I am as I'll be going to a coffee shop, I shall be buying coffee there. <laughs> and if I've done any work earlier in the morning, I tend to like to get up earlier and do my work then because that is like my best brain morning self. Um, the afternoon I just go, Pfft. So I will keep track of that too. And any other thing that like kind of sprouts up that seems like it should be noted, that it could have had an impact on the words that day. Oh, and I will be drafting the entire time. I didn't want to muddy this with trying to do revision work and the difficulties there are with trying to sort of track that. Maybe at the end of this experiment, I'll go back and do like a little mini revision version and see if that changes anything. Anyways, first things first, let's get ready to go to the library. Coffee, done, library, there. If I had to make some predictions, I think, what do I think? I think the lack of internet here is really gonna help me. I'm not going to connect, even though I might have the capability to. I think that one extra step is really nice. Not having multiple monitors at the same time will hopefully keep me like focused on the one, the one that I'm writing on. And there's just always something so nice about being surrounded by books and like general movement, but not so much scampering that takes you out and barks about needing to be taken out. <laughs> All right, let's go. Spots have filled up in the past, so I wanted to get here right as they opened. I got 2,000 words in an hour and 15 minutes. I'm almost horrified. Like it was, it was so easy. It went so smoothly. I only got on the internet at the very end there so that I could look up a book's location or potential location at the specific library, which they didn't have it, so it didn't matter. Um, but just like knowing where that section was, <laughs> 2,000. Holy shit. Some of that, of course, is a testament to this story. Like, I just got to the first death. Hoo hoo. So we've already discovered the cauldron, the awful, terrible, no good cauldron. And now we have the first death as a result of the curse uh, that the cauldron helped create, but we don't really know anything else. So there's like a really long list of suspects forming. Oh, it's very fun. It is so fun. Oh, I should say the only reason I'm really leaving is I drank a lot of water and I had that coffee and I'm hungry, so. Who knows how many I could do, just like, <laughs> oh God. All right, 
day two of the experiment. Today I'm going to be going to a coffee shop even though I just made myself a cappuccino, but that's because I have been up and working for about an hour and a half. It is not yet nine. It's almost nine. Mm. So again, both of these things are going to be noted. I will try to have at least one day when I go to the coffee shop that I haven't already started working. I'll try and have a day when I go to the library after already having worked for a bit. We're really just gonna feel it out. One of the interesting things about my city, San Antonio, is that it can be hard when you're looking on like Google Maps and stuff to distinguish between what is a coffee shop and what is a coffee truck. There are a lot of coffee trucks. Oh, my phone is down. There are a lot of coffee trucks, which is great, but I love the ambiance of a coffee shop and that is, you know, what I need usually. The San Antonio elements are not kind to outside writing usually, actually. This might be the one time of year that they would be a little bit kinder, but I prefer the great air conditioning, the good, the good, good AC. So let's go over a few of my options. Mm. I should note that I was getting this video done and ready to go out. It's currently scheduled. And as the topic of that video was a bit like routine day job versus creative work versus leisure-esque, uh, it's worth noting that the work I did this morning was in the day job category, right? YouTube stuff I put in the day job category. These categories are a little bit meaningless, but like I've not written yet this morning. That feels important. Welcome to the city of San Antonio. As far as the city I've lived in is unique in that like the traffic's not that terrible to get over here. I use not that terrible as an asterisk because like traffic's never fun, but it's not Dallas traffic, okay? That's what I'm saying. And obviously like Dallas traffic, terrible, not totally Austin traffic, you know, certainly not in LA traffic. So depending on where you're from, it's all gonna be different. But San Antonio, I can still get to the other side of San Antonio. Not ideal, but I can do it. Coffee Crush, which I've not been to and looks like there's a table inside, question mark. <laughs> Cultura, only 10 reviews though, so I don't know. Oh, Coffee and Culture Bakery, Medina River Coffee. We got some options loaded up. Let us do some more quick research on what the table situation looks like. Okay, I ended up choosing this place because it is near a Half Price Books location. So I can get books after. I actually had no idea this place existed. Just so funny. It took the place of an old Starbucks that used to be here. So if I end up liking this place, this might be this might be a problem for my wallet. <laughs> Will I treat myself to books after? Yes. <laughs> okay, that first place was so crowded. There was nowhere to sit and a long line of people about to get coffee. So we're at somewhere new and if I strike out here, <laughs> if I strike out here, then I think the lesson is that 10 a.m. is probably too late to like claim a spot at a coffee shop, which feels fair for like other places I've been. I usually like to get there at like seven or eight uh, when the only people coming in are usually like the ones getting to go staff. All back, I guess, is Starbucks. I like Starbucks, let it be known. You know, I like all coffee and drink of all sorts. However, I like to support local coffee shops when I can. They're just so popular, it's making it hard. Oh man, second time I've rocked in and then immediately out. All right, we're at the library again. I'm gonna see if I can recreate the magic that was last time. Fingers crossed. I have written a little bit this morning. I did my prompt and I did a little bit of plotting, so no drafting work. So this is gonna be the first time drafting today. And um, let's see how it goes. Okay, after 40 minutes and 700 words, I decided to leave because it was already more crowded. I was so shocked at how busy it already was in there since I was like, what, five minutes later than I had been last time. And a couple people in there were coughing. I'm about to travel to see my brother, so I don't want to get sick and not be able to go. So I feel like that was relatively successful though. Again, 700 words, 40 minutes or so, pretty awesome. 
Honestly, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm wondering if that was like pretty on par because part of me was so nervous the whole time about the coughing that like maybe that was having an effect. <laughs> okay. I decided the true answer was to try again, but much earlier. <laughs> so it's just a bit after eight. I don't know if you can hear the highway noises in the background, but there is a highway right here, which actually I could see from where I was sitting right about there. And so I would say it was a little bit more distracting, definitely louder than at the library because you're taking orders, the machines. I happened to this coffee shop before and didn't like the way that the, um, the light really filtered in. It made it very hot, but today, is perfect riding weather. So I was like, let me try again. The matcha latte is good, but not my favorite. But I'm not that mad at it. You know, you know, that's how I feel. I'm not that mad at it. But like, anyways, I guess second strike and it's out. I got my backpack on. It is gently sprinkling. I am ready to go to the coffee shop. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It had been a while since I'd written in that project, so I actually had to spend a little bit of that time rereading it. Uh, but then I got into like this flow state and it was really nice. Shockingly easier to jump back in than I expected. Uh, I was a little bit concerned about that, but heck yes, 800-ish words. I will take that for an hour of work, especially an hour that again, I had to spend like the first 20 minutes rereading by the power of an unhealthy amount of sweet cream. <laughs> I have done it. I have some more errands to run, so I'm gonna do that. And then I guess it's just time to compare. Ooh, I get to play with the stats. <laughs> oh my gosh, before I get to the stats, I have to show you if that's not the cutest thing. She just sat down because Vin, <laughs> Vin had taken the spot first. Oh my God. Oh, they're so cute. And then Zelda's off by her little puppy self. <laughs> okay, please do not mind the butt hair too much. I come bearing stats, numbers. They have been crunched. You can see some of that work here. So I thought it was important to do at least one session each location not filming in case, you know, maybe I was getting out of the flow while filming. There's possibilities. Uh, I find that normally when I'm filming for vlogs and stuff, I'm usually just taking a break or I do a lot of my filming ahead of time, <laughs> just typing nonsense, uh, getting the ambiance, and then I'll go ahead and do my writing, get in the zone, and then only film again once I'm like done for the day. But like, just in case, you know? For my second at home session, I wrote 1,104 words. At the library, I wrote 1,542 words in 64 minutes for an average words per hour of 1,445.6. At my third cafe visit, I wrote 1,099 words for 75 minutes, which was almost the longest time I'd been anywhere minus the library on that first visit, which is 879.2 words per hour. And then my third at home session was 968 words. I will say for the total of this experiment, I wrote 10,618 words, which is very cool. I had so much fun going to a bunch of different locations, a bunch you know, three different, bless you, three different cafes, the same library and at home, but like more, 
more locations than I usually go. Mm. Now I did average these out and there was a clear first place, second place, third place. At the beginning of this experiment, I... I thought I would be most productive at the coffee shop because that's where I used to write a lot was coffee shops. I thought maybe like tapping into that. I guess I never really tested out if I was actually like productive there. <laughs> productive, it's gonna be in quotes, relatively productive. But that actually came in third with 1,028.96 words. <laughs> 1,029 words per hour, which by the way, is incredible. Like I'm not mad at that at all. This is exactly why I decided to only draft during this experiment because otherwise, it's just hard to keep track. Um, but that's all that's awesome. Like I'm 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 not mad at that. Normally if I get like 400, 500 words in an hour, cool, great. Some scenes are harder fought. I'm getting 200, 300 words and I might be struggling over them, but like usually I determine a good writing session, not necessarily by the words per hour, but just like how I'm feeling during it. Am I able to immerse myself? in the story for however long I have, right? That's what I'm searching for, is this kind of getting in this flow state. And I think I did have that a couple of times. I would argue that I did have it potentially the least at the cafes, especially because it depends on like the seat to desk ratio, if it was comfortable. The Starbucks one I didn't find to be particularly comfortable. The first place I didn't like the matcha. <laughs> I don't think that that had an effect on my work, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> and the third place was a cafe near my parents that I've already worked at before. So I just knew that I'd be comfortable there, even though that was, you know, on a per hour basis, my least productive, but like it felt nice while I was there. So maybe we just throw this whole, this whole concept out, <laughs> this whole theory, go away. My second most productive location was at home with an average of 1,109.67 words. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that feels really good, really solid. I do have um, some stats that I took on the coffee I consumed and if I'd done any work ahead of time. So we're gonna touch on that in a second. But the library was, I think in comparison, like kind of clearly uh, my most productive place at 1,362.26 words. Like, holy shit. I surprise myself every time at the library. <laughs> I don't know if it's because it's generally quieter. Um, I'm going to assume that what, that's what it is. It's quieter and there's no distractions from my animals and so I just immediately get in the zone. Um, there's no machines at the coffee shop, there's no people talking to tell their order or like catching up with friends. It's really just kind of like perfect environment um, to still have some movement, still have some books I can like focus in on and maybe distract myself a little bit with but otherwise like what I might have to do in the future is actually try out a bunch of different libraries and just see how it goes but I really like that one. They also, I realized after um, doing this, have a quiet room, which I used for that third uh, session that I did not know about or notice during the first two. <laughs> and so on the busier days, it might be really nice to just go shut myself in there. So, oh, okay, let us cover another little section of these stats and see if we can parse through if anything might have been even more interesting. Who knows? <laughs> Hmm, <laughs> battery and location change. So as noted before, I did keep track of my caffeine intake as well as if I wrote earlier or just generally worked earlier in the day. I went ahead and highlighted my most productive sessions for each location and each time I had one caffeine intake. One cappuccino, basically. Now normally that's because I was at home so I'd have one at 10-ish, the starting time I originally tried to do for this experiment and I would just have the cappuccino while I was writing. I don't know physically how soon Caffeine intake works? If you know, let me know. <laughs> but I counted it as during the session, one. For what it's worth, I had one almost every time. Two times at the cafe, that was my second drink, so I counted it. And then once at the library, I didn't have anything, and that was a decision I regretted. It was also the time that I was freaking out that the person next to me had COVID, so. <laughs> Also each time I had not written anything earlier in the day, but only twice throughout this experiment, was that actually true? So I don't know that you can really take that much from that. And as for working earlier in the day, it was two no's and one yes. Now, most of the time, close to that 50% mark, I had worked over the course of the experiment. I worked one, two, three, four, five times, five out of the nine times before I wrote for that session. But I do think you would need more information to really like extrapolate anything from that. <laughs> from the results. The only thing that I thought was especially interesting was that my most productive session was the first session for each one of those 
categories. So the first time I went to the library, crazy number. The first time I went to the coffee shop, my best. And the same was true for at home. Now I pulled the at home numbers just from the couple times I did the experiment, like noting that I was going to do the experiment. So I went from like 10 to 11, but I have pulled off like 1600 words in an hour before is not unheard of. It is a lot and it doesn't happen super often, but it's kind of like on, you know, maybe like 15% of the time I'll hit something like that. So the fact that 1,257 was my highest during this little experiment. But what I am really taking away from this is that I need to go to the library more often with the purpose of writing. And I would love to see a day where I go there exclusively to write and somehow manage to walk out without a book because that has quite literally never happened. I walked out with a book, a new book <laughs> to take home with me each time, even though I'm staring down like, 20 books I have checked out from the library. My library system lets you take out like 50, 50 books or DVDs or something. What? As soon as I said that, some part of my brain was like, should I try to get to 50 sometime? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Anyways, this experiment was a blast. I had so much fun with it. We are already heading into summer, but otherwise I think it would be really fun to do this for like three times in a park or something like that. See if the outside elements would make a difference or where that would stack up compared to the library or the coffee shop. But that is gonna be it for me. Please do comment down below about your absolute favorite place to write and your absolute favorite place to write outside of your home if that is a different place. <laughs> Let me know if your favorite place is also not your most productive place. We can kind of go back to my cafe example. <laughs> I do still really like writing at cafes. I think there's something really nice about kind of about the people watching, about eavesdropping in on conversations. I was doing that at the Starbucks really bad. May not be the most productive, but potentially the most fun. Thank you once again to my lovely, incredible patrons for voting on this experiment, and we'll see you all very soon with a new video. Bye.